first. We can't lose this opportunity we've been given to change in a meaningful way when it comes to diversity, inclusion, and belonging in the Air Force, to make sure that we celebrate all of us, that we are a force that includes and embraces all of us. And then that culture runs deep right through to the squadron level where it makes the most impact. What I leave to airmen is let's not take our foot off the gas. We should be the best in the world at how we celebrate and include all members of our team. I started looking at the four stars to determine who would be best suited to be my replacement. It became very clear to me that uh, the individual that needed to come in behind me was General C.Q. Brown. And I'm really thrilled that the President nominated him and the Senate confirmed him and that uh, he and I will change hands on the 6th of August. I would like to say thank you to our spouses and and our families. They serve in the Air Force too. And it's been an honor to be a part of this institution. I've absolutely loved being an Air Force spouse. I feel like I'm a better person because of it. And I'm always inspired with the spouses that I meet. As leaders, we have a lot of things we try to get done. There's one thing that is nothing short of a moral obligation. And that's making sure that, you know, for you and your fellow airmen, that Everyone we send into harm's way is properly organized, properly trained, properly equipped, and courageously led. And then when you come home from that deployment, we've taken care of your family while you're gone. And our families exhibit a very special kind of courage when they uh, deal with sometimes the long hours, the hardships, the separations. Final thanks to the families for being such an incredible part of this team uh, and what they do, taking care of their airmen so that we can take care of the mission.